morning, everyone. Welcome to the 19th annual group exhibit of hydrogen and fuel cells at Hanover Messe 2013. I invite you in the halls to come and sit down, have a coffee and tea on the house, and uh, listen to our next topic. We will be discussing ceramic metaphase protective coating for metal bipolar plates. I will be speaking with Dr. Henrik Jungras from uh, Impact Coatings. He is the managing director and CEO. Please welcome Dr. Jungras to the stage. Hello. Please have a seat. Thank you. Um, perhaps let's talk, tar, start with uh, how was Impact Coding started? Uh, we are a spin-off from uh, University of Linköping in Sweden. So 1997, uh, we started a small company and uh, uh, start to look at uh, the deposition technology. And we won, would like to, our business idea was to uh, create as, as cost efficient deposition uh, systems as possible. Um, so you're based in, uh, in Sweden? Yes. Um, how long have you been working on the fuel cell technology? How long has the research process and uh, how long has it been out on the marketplace? Uh, we worked, we start to work uh, with uh, coatings for bipolar plates uh, approximately 10 years ago. Uh, we uh, participate in different uh, uh, foundings and, and programs, uh, European and, and Swedish uh, programs. And uh, we, we have also worked with some customers in order to be sure that uh, we are fulfilling the, the qualification, the needs for those coatings. Uh, and uh, it has been going quite well, actually. So uh, now we are quite convinced that this is working very good. So about one year ago, we start to promote this to, to uh, all customers in the fuel cell market. How does uh, coating typically work? Um, what is the advantage of using a metal a bipolar plate with a coating versus a graphite plate? And what type of fuel cells is this technology uh, that you're manufacturing produ uh, produced for? Uh, to use a, a metal plate instead of, of graphite plates, uh, make the uh, fuel cell or the stack uh, smaller, uh, less weight, and if you go to uh, high volume production, it they reduces the cost as, as much uh, as well. And uh, uh, so, so, what was the other question? <laughs> <laughs> um, the type of fuel cell that is a yeah, is applied yeah, for. Yeah. Uh, so we are working on uh, low temperature PEM fuel cells. Uh, we have been uh, qualified and, and uh, worked for, uh, our coatings have been tested uh, for uh, at least between three and, and uh, 4,000 hours. Uh, after that, our customer didn't want to cont continue on to do the testing because uh, they said that, yes, your coating is working, but, but it's too costly to go on to do the test. Uh, and then, uh, so low, low temperature PEM and also uh, DMFC, uh, direct methanol uh, fuel cells, is also working uh, great with our coatings. So I see that you brought an example. Um, can you explain what this is with you today? Th this is a, a bipolar plate. Uh, it's, uh, the plate itself is manufactured by uh, one of uh, uh, our customers, uh, we work together with them, it's called, uh, they are called Grabener. Uh, they are actually exhibited here in, in the uh, exhibition at uh, E60. Uh, so, so please visit the booth uh, and you can discuss uh, the manufacture of the plate. And uh, then we have coated the plate uh, with our ceramic max face. And uh, the coatings that we are putting on uh, is an uh, env environmental friendly uh, coating, both the material itself. Uh, if you compare with gold, gold is a rather uh, environmental uh, uh, hazardous materials, both for mining and reusing and so on. Uh, and the, the ceramic max face is, of course, uh, cheaper uh, than the gold and uh, we perform the performance, the contact resistance, uh, the corrosion resistance of our coatings on this uh, metal bipolar plate uh, is uh, as good as gold. 
In terms of uh, your technology, uh, how is it customized for uh, your clients? Is it, are you simply producing the single unit or do you do it on a mass scale and provide systems for manufacturing companies to then integrate into their process? Can you go into detail as to um, how you can customize this? Yeah, in, in, in general, uh, we are a, a deposition manufacturer. Uh, that means that we are manufacturing the deposition tools and uh, sell the deposition tools to our customers. They are, uh, then, then we also develop the process itself. So uh, we deliver a, a turnkey solution to the customers. So the, the basic idea is that the customer doesn't have to have a knowledge of how to do the coating and how to handle the, the quality of the deposition system and the handling and the maintenance of the deposition system. We help them to do that. Either we can do it or uh, we can train them to do it. Most of the customers so far we have been delivered deposition systems to in other areas. Uh, has have no knowledge at all about the deposition process. So uh, we, we, we are p putting that into a package. In general, we are supplying a deposition system that has a green bottom and, and a red bottom, the green one to start and the red one to stop, more or less. So you don't have to be knowledge in order to use our deposition system. And what is really, really nice as well is that the, the quality and, and the process is very stable. Uh, when we get the process there and adjust the process for the customer, uh, they can run it without any problem. Is this technology used uh, solely for fuel cells or can it be applied to um, another wide range of, of products as well? Yes, uh, PVD coatings, which stands for physical vapor deposition, is uh, used in a wide range of, of uh, areas. It, from the beginning, it's developed for the uh, semiconductor industry. Uh, nowadays, it's using to coat CDs and DVDs. Uh, it's used to coat uh, I, uh, windscreens uh, on cars or, or on buildings. Uh, it's used to even to uh, coat uh, uh, candy bags for <laughs> and it, it's uh, decorative coatings for, for example, mobile phones. We have uh, delivered some uh, deposition systems for that application that is uh, presently running uh, for uh, production of, of decorative coatings on, uh, on mobile phones. And also, uh, you can use them to coat on, on plastics, uh, reflectors on plastics. So in general, we are working in uh, three different areas. We are working on what we call electrical contacts, and, and this is one thing that, that is very similar or, or what we, we, what we account as electrical contact because it's really electrical current that is going through these plates and we have to coat the, the surface in order to get a, a good uh, connectivity and a good uh, contact resistance. We have uh, developed coatings that replaces gold for traditional electrical uh, connectors as well. Uh, and uh, the other area that we're working on is as I, as I mentioned, a little bit decorative coatings on metals and uh, also coatings on, on plastics. Are you primarily focused within Europe or do you supply globally as well? Can you go into um, where you can um, receive these products? Where are you supplying to? We, we, have, uh, we are and we have uh, supplied to, to different areas. Uh, most of our systems we have sold uh, in uh, Europe and Asia. So we have uh, some deposition system delivered to, uh, to China, uh, to the Philippines. Uh, we have also delivered uh, deposition systems to uh, Norway, uh, Sweden, uh, Germany, Switzerland, uh, and so on. So, so we have, and, and hopefully soon to US as well. <laughs> Are there any questions in the audience at all? Um, I have a question. Uh, okay. ter in terms of your research and development, um, are you involved in any projects at all that you can go into detail about? Um, yes, we, we have. Uh, uh, of course, we, we have developed the, the coatings on the plates uh, together with uh, different partners. Uh, the Swedish universities. Uh, we have uh, an end customer, uh, Sir Energy, and uh, also uh, PowerCell that is making the stacks, the fuel cell stacks. 
Uh, and then we are working together with uh, some institutes as well. Uh, the Fraunhofer Institute is a very good one, and also SP Technology Institute in, in Sweden is also some of the partners we are working with. You've been working on this technology, like you said, for about 10 years now, and it just entered the market last year. So you obviously have a, a drive and a passion for this technology. To you, what is the significance of this, and what is your goal for this technology um, in terms of future? In general, it has been we have, we have been a little bit uh, careful to to uh, uh, spend too much focus actually on on the future. Uh, we have been waiting a little bit until we have seen that the market is is taking off. Uh, I would say today people is talking more and more uh, about a little bit higher volumes. Uh, so of course, you, you always hear the big numbers, but but we try to to listen to to the small numbers. <laughs> And uh, we can see now that, that uh, it, it's, before it was more that people want to have, or company want to have coatings or plates for developing the fuel cells. Now I would say that the fuel cells are there, they are working. Now it's more like uh, customers are integrating the fuel cells in different, uh, uh, for different applications. And then we can see that the volume has started to take off. And I think at the same time when this is happening, uh, the cost is, is an issue. When you just do a few few cells, the cost is not that important. But now when you do the integration and you want to see uh, what is the cost uh, of uh, the, the total unit, uh, of course the, the cost of the stack is very important. So now we see the volume is, is increasing and the interest of, of getting a, a low cost, good performance uh, uh, plate or stack is, is important. Uh, so, and, and, and then uh, we, since, since about one third of the cost of a stack is uh, the bipolar plates and the coating of the plates. So if we can reduce that and uh, reach the goal of the Department of Energy. They put out that uh, it should be a, approximately uh, one US dollar a kilowatt for the coating on these kind of plates. And we can see that if we go into high volume production, that means that we are producing a lot of these, like millions of these ones. But, but if you do that, we can see that we can reach that cost uh, limit or, or target. Great. Um, I think this brings us to the end of our time. If anyone okay. has any further questions, uh, Dr. Junkertz can be found at booth C52. Uh, there are lots of other samples uh, at the booth, so if you want to go see some of the technology up close for other applications, it is at booth C52, and he'd be happy to answer your questions in further detail. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Okay, okay thank you.